guys, we are here at Disneyland, the original Disney park designed by Walt Disney himself. This is an amazing experience to be in the place that Walt imagined and designed. So I'm very excited to be here. I've never been to Disneyland. So we're gonna be covering all of the major rides like Rise of the Resistance, um, Indiana Jones, and there's a whole bunch more. What uh, else? The Matterhorn Blitz, Big Thunder Mountain. Unfortunately, the Haunted Mansion is closed. So I, I won't get to see the original Haunted Mansion, oh, but that's okay. That. We still get to experience Disneyland, and this is a privilege in itself to be able to do this, so I'm very, very excited. So join us while we're here at Disneyland, and stay tuned for some awesome videos and some awesome rides. Getting you to Pekara. 
Red two, blue five, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. <laughs> Securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. What the? Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> It didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble.
outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, you resist us now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I know, Stafford is talking. Hey. Four escape pods down in sector four. Verification pending for key command personnel. Where's the lieutenant? Okay guys, so we're here in Disneyland and we just got off of Star Wars, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Oh my God, fantastic ride. Amazing ride, everything. Just the screens, the special effects, the theming. It is so immersive, so fantastic. I, I have to tell you, we didn't watch all the Star Wars movies, but even if you haven't seen the Star Wars movies, it's still a fantastic ride, Absolutely. honestly. Yeah, I don't even know how the technology works, how they, you know... I do. Yeah, of course you do. So so tell us a little bit about it. How does it work? Well, it's a trackless ride system, if you didn't notice. Yeah, I saw no that. Track. There was no track, yeah. Um, so there's that. There's like, it's too much to explain all here. Because uh -huh. there's, it's it's almost as if there's multiple ride systems in one. Yeah, so exactly. So we could talk Even from the it. queue, from the queue going in and then transporting yeah. you here. And then, you know, it makes you feel like you're really in space, yes. honestly. So... I have to say it. I think we're both in agreeing. Yeah. Uh, agreeing. Disneyland, mm -hmm. you have a diamond. You have Absolutely. a diamond with Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Well we thoroughly enjoyed it. So immersive. The illusion, the whole fantasy about it yeah. is truly fantastic. It's so do well yourself deserved. a favor. Get to Disneyland. Ride this. And they said that it was 60 minutes. Honestly, we were in line for about 40. Yeah. It wasn't 40, bad. 45. It kept moving. Yeah, it kept moving. It so. kept moving. Very efficient. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. All right, so our day continues here in Disneyland. This is day three, and uh, stick with us. We continue. Okay, guys, so we just got off Pirates of the Caribbean. DeLacy, what do you think? This is the original Pirates of the Caribbean. 
I've been in the one in Orlando thousands of times, mm -hmm. but this was so much more, how do I say it? I love this so much more for the simple reason that this is the OG and the fact that this was built back in the 1960s. Wow. You have to think, back in the 1960s, technology was not really a thing. I mean, it was just starting to come about. Yeah. So the fact that there's so much in depth and immersion with this one single ride, yeah. with the animatronics, the lighting, the sound, the set design. The immersion of it all. It is honestly, so yeah. impressive to think, and, and it almost makes me emotional because it's like, wow, if it wasn't for something like this, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have the most groundbreaking attractions like yeah. Rise of the Resistance. So you do have to for, pay your respects yeah. to, to this part of, I would history. say part of no, part of Americana, you know, that and Disneyland nineteen sixties, yeah, and theme park history as well. Yeah. It, so just on that factor alone, and the fact that you know what, it can be repli replicated, it can be imitated but never replicated because yeah. obviously there's water rides in a lot of theme parks, but yeah. obviously this is the OG, and I grew up with this. So yeah. just based on that, for me, it's a five out of five. Absolutely. Five out of five. Yeah, yeah. you have to. Incomparable. Come, you have to come and ride this. Yeah. And, just take it all in from start to finish, and it is so ahead of its time period. It, it still baffles me yeah, to think yeah. 1960. And they wow. still, and it runs amazingly. Yes, it's very yeah. well kept. It's very maintained. You can tell that they care a lot, and mm -hmm. they're keeping this thing yeah. to the best of it, the fullest. All right, guys. So it's a five out of five for Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean. Our day continues here in Disneyland. found a perfume store, oh. so he's extremely happy. He's in his Do element. Do you guys have this one? So this chandelier right here is a gift from Walt Disney's wife, Lillian, and is still here to this day. That's wild. That's history. That is crazy. This was made back in the 1960s, 1966, and it's still here? That is insane. Wow. So this mosaic tile right here is the original built back in the 1960s, 1966. Wow, that's wild, that's awesome. We just finished Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. A classic. Another classic. That was incredible. Can't so do wrong. Can't if go you wrong. are familiar with Walt Disney World Animal Kingdom and the dinosaur, it utilizes the same ride technology, but I think that they do it better here, to be yeah. honest. Like, that was so cool. It was very impressive. The set design was super duper huge in scale. Yeah. Going over the bridge. The ball, the the big boulder coming at coming you, at you and then yeah. you just drop down. Like it was so fun. Yeah, it truly and was. It's cool because it uses a similar technology to Radiator Springs Racers, mm -hmm. but instead of the car just being flat, it uses motion based to simulate you going on like a wild terrain mm -hmm. adventure. And it, it's really cool. And the ride vehicles look literally like Jeeps. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. So it gives you that feeling of Riding through the jungle, going over, oh, <laughs> going oh, over it's a jungle cruise. Oh yeah. yeah, it's a jungle cruise. No, but honestly, it's a classic mm -hmm. one. I've ridden it before. Uh, it's been a while though, mm -hmm. but just riding it again makes me relive, relive watching, you know, Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones and Harrison Ford and Some all of my that favorite stuff, movies. So, yeah, so I would say five out of five. Absolutely. What do you say? Five out of five, five and honestly. Five. 
Disneyland, I'm really enjoying this park. Yes. I really, really am enjoying Disneyland. Like, mm-hmm. this is great. It's beautiful. I mean, I can't wait to just keep exploring. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Absolutely. So, what's, what, where are we going next? What are we uh, going? Are we going to go get a snack and some water? <laughs> I think a coffee too. Yeah, that sounds good. A nice little pick me up. I mean, yeah. we are doing two parks today, so yeah. yes, and this is a nice day little three of nonstop go go go. <laughs> so suffice it to say, we're a little tired, mm-hmm. but hey, we're pushing through. We're pushing through. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Right. Day three here at Disneyland. Disneyland. Let's go. Okay, guys. So we decided to stop for some lunch. What's the name of this location? Did you get the name? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Casey's Corner in the Magic Kingdom, but it's not. Yeah. It's a bakery, but they also have um, savory food as well, which yeah. is what we got. We ordered the birria sandwich, which we're gonna split, it's and it comes with a bread. soup. Oh. Yeah, and it comes with a consomme to dip. We got a for dessert a s'mores tart. Of course, I got a coffee because I need a little pick-me-up. And he got a Powerade. All of this... Electrolytes. Yeah, all of this for 30, 30 34 bucks. 34 bucks. 34 yeah. bucks, honestly. Which is kind of crazy. <laughs> and on top of that, we get to sit down and let yeah. our, you know, dogs chill for a little bit. And we have this beautiful <laughs> view of the Matterhorn Blitz. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to really show that to you guys right that. now. Yeah, but other than that, guys, we have to tell you, we're really impressed by Disneyland. Mm-hmm. This is a lot of fun. Yes. Um, the people are great. Mm-hmm. The theming is fantastic, of course. It's Disneyland. Honestly, my And on favorite. top of that, it's also the nostalgia. Because I yeah. remember coming here as a kid, and you get to be a kid again. Yeah. You really, truly get to be a kid again if you just let yourself go, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, my favorite was walking through Adventureland because there were so many nicks and crannies that you could go through. We stumbled upon a perfume store, which oh. we showed you already. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Yeah, and it was cool to actually just kind of sit and talk to the lady that was there. She told us all about the little things that yeah. are in there that are. I had to stop myself from buying. And yeah, stuff. And I had to, he, of course, he saw. Some I had to stop myself from buying a two hundred and forty dollar bottle of um, cologne mm-hmm. because. I have two vices, colognes and Mont Blanc pens. That's my thing. And if you know me, you know me, you know. So that's my little vice. You know, those are my children. I don't have any kids, so those he are my children. He always tells me, and if there's a fire, grab the pens, the Nespresso machine. And, <laughs> and Harvey. Harvey. No, Harvey, the pens, the Nespresso machine, and my laptop. And we're good. Everything else Priorities. can burn. We're good. We're good. But um, yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and eat, and enjoy this view, and then continue on this wonderful day here at Disneyland. Day three, park two. We're doing it. Yeah. We're tired. Oh Lord. But of course, it's a we sacrifice. We're sacrificing ourselves yeah, for you. I wouldn't really call it a sacrifice because we're having fun. <laughs> I really am. Yeah, that's I could a lot do of this fun. for the rest of my life. <laughs> if, yes. I, if I could come home from being tired from doing this all day, it's a good day. As my job, it's a very good day. You know what? Yeah. I'm tired, but with a purpose. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna let you guys go, and we're gonna continue here. We're gonna go ahead and eat, and let's go. Okay, we just finished eating the Berea talk. No. <laughs> What? Bria. No, okay. <laughs> roll the R, but don't roll the R too much. Because then it just sounds like you're going. <laughs> what are you going to take off? <laughs> 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 that shade to somebody who we all know and love. But anyway, we're about to leave that behind. <laughs> <laughs> but idiot. the birria <laughs> sandwich, highly recommend, guys. For theme it was park really food, good. For theme park food, Disneyland oh. is actually really good. It just, honestly, honestly, honestly is. This smell like poop. You're talking about food, and then you talk about poop. Do you smell that? No. My mouth is wide open. It's your upper lip. Nah, I got a mouthful of horse poop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. no, it was it was yeah. really good. <laughs> so excuse him, uncouth. Oh, hush. We're talking about food, and the food was delicious. You have some Honestly, nerve. Theme park food. You yeah. got no coup. You know what? <laughs> Cue the Cicely Tyson going, you got no coup. Hit it. You just don't have no coup. That's what's wrong with you. 
That part right oh there, you have God. none of that. <laughs> okay. Also, hmm. Sleeping Beauty's castle is so small. You know, even with the force perspective, it's so small. It's a little tiny. You haven't seen the one in Orlando. No. Cinderella's oh, I castle. To, I haven't been yeah. to, to, to. Oh my God. It's like one. three times the size of this one. I'm just like, is that it? <laughs> she doesn't need a big castle. She's sleeping. If she's Sleeping Beauty, she's always asleep, right? Yeah, until the prince comes and gives her a kiss. So she's just been asleep for all that time? Ever since Angelina Jolie said, you know, uh, you'll prick yourself on a spindle of this spinning wheel. Actually, matter of fact, cue it. We'll show it. Okay, but what I have Hold on. Done. Hit it. She will prick her finger on the spindle of the spinning wheel and fall into a sleep like death. Okay, that <laughs> part right there. She did it so great. But so what I want to know is, if she sleep, how she use the bathroom? You would think about stuff like that. Well, it's important. You're a weird man. No, it isn't. That is important. It really is. You have to have, to win, you know. That no, doesn't sound healthy. She's a cartoon. It's, 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 it's she's you're real. thinking too much. <laughs> now you know who the overthinker so of got, the group is. Oh, hush. This one right here. Oh my God. All I can think of is Sleeping Beauty Whoa, and what Shrek. What is with the attack of the birds? All I can think of is the scene from uh, Shrek where Sleeping Beauty, they're like, oh, and here goes Sleeping Beauty. And they open up the carriage and she just goes plop onto the ground. <laughs> But we're gonna continue here. Where are we going to now? To the Matterhorn. Matterhorn. But the reason why we want to do this video is talk about that food. Okay, that's creepy. What's creepy? This this mountain is making some weird noises. Oh yeah, baby. This is an old mountain. Yeah. So we're gonna do the Matterhorn. <laughs> this is the first and steel tubular roller coaster. Well, I enjoy my little pick me up and coffee. <laughs> I'm telling you, the greatest substance ever devised. <laughs> But now, gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Hello. All right, guys, and we're back. And it's a true testament, honestly, of what we do when we meet wonderful people. Tell us, what are your names? Kaylin. Xavier. Kaylin and Xavier. Are you guys from LA? We're, We're from, from Southern California, yeah, SoCal. the Inland okay, Empire. SoCal. How okay. often do you guys visit uh, the theme parks here? We have the passes, so we're here quite yeah, often, actually. Key? Yeah, okay. so we're here at least at least once a month. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It was actually funny. So obviously, we're here at Disneyland, guys, and um, we were talking about the Detours rating system and the Detours Diamond. We have another fan right here of Tatsu. Oh my god. And <laughs> so what was the other one that you liked, actually? Um, Tatsu, X2, and Goliath. Those and are the Goliath. <laughs> yes. yes. And obviously, if you've been watching our series, you already know that day one, we did Magic Mountain. And those were two of our diamond recipients, mm -hmm. the uh, X2 and also Tatsu. So, hey, roller coaster enthusiasts, you find them everywhere, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you guys being here. Thank you, guys. New friends. And on top of that, new followers. New followers. All right. New go ahead and follow them. Go ahead and subscribe to them. Okay. There you go. All right. <laughs> See, we love the shout out. We love the shout out. All right. Thanks for being in the video. And guys, remember, if you see our shirts and you see us say, hey, we're filming, stop by. Say hi. We always like to meet our new uh, followers. All right. We continue here in Disneyland. Stick with us.
bobsled. And oh my God, for that to be the first steel tubular roller coaster, that was fun. Yeah. It starts off in the dark and then you have these Yeti yelling at you and stuff. And then you just start, the sharp turns in there were crazy. Mm -hmm. Like if you've ever been on a wild mouse and you hit those hairpin turns going around the sides, it kind of reminds me of that, but with drops and, and, and it drops in the dark, it was fast. And for it to be as old as it is. How old is it? This was built back in the 60s. The 60s? Yeah. Okay, and she's still smooth. Disney, good job taking care of exactly. your roller coasters. All right. Very well done. Oh, yeah. it was fun. And I then honestly, at the end, uh -huh. you splashed through the wall. I was like, I thought oh, it was gonna my get God. wet. I was like, you have got to be out of your mind. And it's cold out here in Southern California right now. So yeah. I'm like, you have got to be out of your mind. I am not about to get wet. <laughs> but you didn't get wet. So, so I would say for me, mm -hmm. four out of five. Yeah, I would give it a solid four out of five. Four out of five. If solid you do it and as the cast member told me, do you want to go see your chiropractor or do you want to not go see your chiropractor? He I said, said that? Yeah, because I was like, which, which side is more <laughs> intense? And he goes, all right, do you want to go see your chiropractor or do you not want to go see your chiropractor? And I was like, I want to go see my chiropractor. He's I like, don't. All right, go to the left. Thanks for telling me. And, oh, well, you know. Thanks. <laughs> so thanks for that tip because that was so much fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, four out of five for yeah. the Matterhorn. Absolutely. And we keep going. Right now, we are still, what, two and a half hours away from closing yeah. time. Yeah, so we still got some so time. So we have some rides to go. Yeah. All, All right. right, cool. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Jinx. guys so we just got off of space mountain it was a long wait <laughs> i think yeah, that was the longest minutes but it was more of an hour yeah. and 20 minutes yeah yeah but that's okay we still thoroughly enjoyed it. it i think this one is way better than the one in orlando you haven't experienced haven't that one yet it, no yeah this one's way better it was a lot of fun i loved the stars everywhere it's just like yeah and you they're moving and it's all it, indoors it's that all indoors cool. it is really really cool the theming is great the thrill factor is a lot of fun it, mm -hmm. it was it's a great family roller coaster i yeah. definitely say it. it deserves a four out of five i agree yeah four out of five four out of five four out of five mm -hmm. honestly so it's almost getting to closing time we're about 45 minutes away yes. we're going to try to squeeze in one more ride and of yes. course then our final review for closing out here at Disneyland. So, right. stick with us. Let's do it.
Okay guys, so the night has come and it's closing time here at Disneyland. We have to tell you we thoroughly enjoyed it, did we yes, not? Yes, it was a lot of fun. I felt like a kid again. Mm -hmm. I, it, it was, I really thoroughly enjoyed this park. It's yeah. my first time getting the chance to see the original Disney park, which I have to tell you, I really had a lot of fun. I haven't been to Disney World, but I grew up in this park as well. Mm -hmm. And it takes you back to, to, to that My nostalgia childhood. of it all. Yeah. yeah. As well. And the ride's amazing. The last one that we did was a little bit long. But other than that, they keep it moving. Mm -hmm. It's down to a science over here. Yes. I'll be honest with you, I like Disneyland better than California Adventure. I completely Bar agree. None. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too keen on California Adventure. That's, again, my personal opinion. Maybe you guys differ. But Disneyland is it. Yes. So, theme park uh, rating from us, it's... A five, five out, out of five. five. Absolutely. Five Especially out of for five. a family experience. Mm -hmm. To bring your kids here and enjoy something with the entire family. It definitely deserves a five out of five. Yes, this and we're happy to visit. give Disneyland a five out of five. A family theme park, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nostalgia, completely. So, obviously, Disneyland knows how to do it, knows how to transport you, knows that, you know, how to bring out a kid in you, mm -hmm. honestly. So, that being said, guys, we're signing off on this episode of The Detours. Tomorrow, we will be finishing off our tour at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm so So, excited. if you've watched this video, continue on. Part 4 is coming up tomorrow at Universal Studios Hollywood, all right? So, good night for now, or good morning, whatever time you're watching us. Thanks for watching us. Don't forget to like, share comment and subscribe of course we need you and we yes. appreciate you to the friends that we met today guys comment guys down below awesome. we want to hear from you and to the new subscribers welcome all right we'll talk to you tomorrow ciao for now Bye. oh yeah peace and hair grease ciao for now <laughs>